Hello there, YouTube is pretty weird recently, so if you're already subscribed to the channel, please also click the bell, tick the box, hit save, and you'll get notifications on your device and via email every time I upload a video. Thank you! Hello and welcome to the Osmos 3.5 beta rundown with me, myself and I. It's been a while, I've been gone, and I am back now. Let's see what's new in Osmos. Well, besides the fact that we have Galactron and all that kind of good stuff that everybody knows by now, we have a pretty cool beta that includes quite a few nifty changes. Osmos delivering on their uh, promise of making a map editor, which is pr pretty cool. I will not go in depth in this because I haven't played with it and uh, I don't really know much about it. You can you can put stuff, you can edit quite a few things. I've seen the live stream and it's pretty damn nice. I'll link to the live stream in the description if you want to see what cookie stuff you can do in there. And it works pretty nicely. You can also break the game several times over and uh, upload whatever you create on the Steam Workshop for others to download, which is pretty awesome. Right now it has limited capabilities, but with these quote-unquote limited capabilities, you can make quite a quite a few cool things and all right we're going to go into the main meat of this uh, patch which is as a lot of people have uh, noticed and I'm pretty sure you've seen on YouTube and in the live stream we have a new awesome nod called deadlift he is a bovinian awesome nod he's a bull that lifts that's why it's called deadlift but he's not dead, but you will be if you try to fight him. He's a very interesting character, I've been playing uh, him with various builds against bots, not uh, online because I'm still trying to record this and was setting up stuff. Um, it's He's pretty cool, he's pretty cool. He brings a lot to the table and he is the kind of tank that I really liked. I was hoping Jimmy and... Uh, Awesome. Um, he also has a One Punch Man reference, which is pretty awesome. You'll you'll be hearing it uh, when he speaks about his training regimen. And he, he, this is the first change in the patch. You get the skills already unlocked, which is awesome. And you will also have about 200 uh, solar when you go down if you actually try to get the solar when you go down, which makes it pretty awesome. All right. So, his first uh, skill is a power lunge. He just jumps to a, a certain point and deals 300 damage to everybody in the location. And also knocks them back a bit, which is pretty cool. Uh, this doesn't seem to scale that much, you can also boost the damage, but this is mostly for an engage slash mini burst. Shield um, can soak up f uh, 600 damage and decays with 100 health per second. Which is kind of cool. So this will be up if you don't take any damage, uh, about six seconds, which is awesome. You can also get like pretty cool buffs for your uh, um, teammates. Uh, your iron slam, which is your uh, auto attack, which has a pretty small hitbox because it's you know melee. At least for me, it seems pretty small. But uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Have quite a lot of upgrades and some passives that are not directly uh, linked to the Iron Slam. And you have the standard uh, little upgrades here, including the Baby Curie Map. That's what he gets. Alright, uh, just uh, so you know, I'm going to put a timestamp in the description and uh, on screen to skip if you don't want to get the details on all these uh, upgrades. Alright, I'm going to try to do this and win the game. And this is like a purpose handicap of me just showing you all these. Okay, uh, this one reduces the cooldown of power lunge by 8 seconds, by 0 0.8 seconds, it will go up to 1.6. Increases the range of power lunge by 25%, which is kind of cool, you can jump further. This one is my favorite, it reduces the damage output of enemies hit by power lunge, you can hit on a whole team with this thing, uh, by 12% for 2 seconds. 
it can go up to 25% debuff, damage debuff, for 2 seconds, which is kind of awesome. And uh, this will go pretty nicely with this one. Makes all your uh, all allies in the protective power shield 14% stronger. It can go up to 28%. So you can basically create a power differential for 2 seconds. Um, for actually, well, two seconds debuff plus however the sh however the much the shield resists in a battle for uh, your team. So this is goes 24% debuff plus 28% buff to your team. That's a pretty big power swing, which is kind of awesome. So I really like this two this combination. And uh, there's the um, increase the base damage of power damage by 14%. It doesn't really scale that high, but uh, you can deal a bit more damage, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to try like a bursty type of thing, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work that well. And when performing power lunge out of a protected pose, you deal more damage because the shield explodes. Alright. Uh, I am also at level 2 now, so these also, the like, finite numbers and not percentage 1 scale, so yeah. Don't uh, don't really uh, trust these right now because we're leveling up. Okay, Bovidian, uh, this one increases the knockback by 200%. For me, I don't really like the knockback that much because you already have quite a decent amount. So I'm not gonna get this, but maybe you're going to like this. Maybe it's good on uh, maps where you can just push people off and kill them. Alright, boom. For the shield, you have increases of the protective pose by 25%, goes up to 50% more shield, makes all the allies in the protective pose shield deal 40% more damage up to 28% more damage, slows enemies inside the protective shield by 15% up to 30%. This one... Uh, reduces the decay of the shield by 15%, by 50%, sorry. Uh, this one's my favorite, and I've played with this one, and I'm trying to play without it, and I just don't have it of that much success anymore. This is my favorite one, adds a self-healing burst that heals for a certain amount that goes up to, you know, goes up by level, when the protective pose shield breaks. This is really good, because you can pop this thing every 11, no, 12 seconds, and you can heal up, and after a heated battle, you can also just heal up, which is pretty cool. Even though with the shield, you're not going to take any damage, you can also reliably just jump in at lower health and help your team, and then when the shield breaks, you can still tank a bit. And this one's pretty cool, makes allies passing through the protective shield receive a speed bonus of 20%. Let me just show you, this thing is huge. If you just touch them with the shield, you can also reactivate it to destroy it, um, you will be able to give them 2% that refreshes every millisecond that uh, your ally is in the shield. So if you just touch them a bit, you're, they're gonna have a burst of speed, which is pretty cool. Uh, as for you, you can get uh, more attack speed for your... Uh, Iron Slam, your melee attack. This one's pretty cool. You get 20% uh, more move speed when you're near allies. So you can just be like a freaking train. And you will hit like a train. Uh, heal 56 over 2 seconds after hitting an enemy with Deadlift's Golden Arm. You can heal... Kind of... Yeah, it, it's a bit weird because you're going to hit him once with the normal one arm and once with the other arm so it's, a, it's kind of like a lifesteal sort of okay worn kettle belt increases damage of iron slam by 13 percent so you can also increase the attack speed and damage which is kind of cool um, after landing a power lunge, the next iron slam will stun the enemies for uh, 0.4 seconds. This seems pretty good when you hear it, but I've tried uh, doing it and it's... I can't really hit it that much because the, you know, hitbox is a bit low. And when you jump with the power slam, you're also going to knock people back, so... and they might scatter. So, I don't know. For me, it's not really working, but it could be really good in the hands of a good guy. Um, this one increases the damage of Iron Slam by 10% for every not hit in quick succession. This caps at 30 
percent increased damage and resets when no knot is hit for one second. So if you're into a big battle that lo lasts for a long time, you can really scale with this thing. Um, I haven't really found a battle that uh, lasts that long and his melee attack is pretty short, short ranged. So I don't really use this, but if you can get comfortable with the melee attack, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Alright, now finally, let's just get into the game already. We'll get with this. And with the heal. And that's it. This is his normal movement speed, and we're going to go over the taunts now. So yeah, his melee attack attacks basically everybody. That's behind him. And you can heal with the shield again. I might be a bit under equipped right now. But he's pretty tanky to um, get back into the game. And that's a pretty good way to just judge how everything is going. Because the bots have been kind of losing without me. Alright, let's go. Oh, another cool thing that you go do with this guy, you can protect your, uh, like, big minion from taking damage, which is pretty cool. You can keep him alive, and that thing really deals quite a lot of damage. Right, let's go. I haven't looked, this is not really the best map to play on, but, yeah. Here we go. And there you go. Easy does it. He has decent damage on his auto attack. And you can practically just nullify Yuri because uh, he doesn't really do deal that much damage with his auto attack and you can just protect your team for quite a long time from his damage. Lunge! This is basically come on and slam the awesome knots. It's... it's amazing. It's... it's really enjoyable. Lunging into people and just murdering their faces is just so... It, it will never get old. Because it's fun. You can also lunge in different ways. And there's nobody to lunge to. Uh, one quick thing, uh, as you can see here. Oh my god, there we go. That's. There we go. Uh, as a. Uh, as a bull, he kind of really ha hates. Uh... Oh, come on, there we go. No, don't go in there, you stupid bot. Run. He kind of really hates Lone Star. The lunge is really good. You can, it's a really good engage tool and it's a really good escape tool. If you also jump in the air, you can just extend the range of it quite a lot. My favorite build right now is to build this like combination of a debuff and a buff. There might be other builds that are better, but this is my favorite one. You can also adapt to whatever your team needs. If your team is slow and needs speed, you can give them speed. If the other team is fast and your team can't hit them, you can give, you can slow them with your shield. If you want to deal more damage, you can do that. If you want to attack faster and scale faster, you can do that. You can do quite a lot of good things. You don't have insane damage because you're still a tank, but uh, he says while well, jumping in the middle of the team and almost killing all of them. Uh, and all now dying because, yeah, the tables do turn. You won't have that much damage, but you can do a lot of debuffs. And in comparison, just bring everybody to your level. And you're a tank with tank damage. They're not tanks with lower than tank damage. This gets really interesting in time. And as you can see, you can really just nullify Yuri. Yuri, Yuri players are going to hate you. You can nullify basically any auto attack, but Yuri's kind of really important, so yeah. The mines are still going to destroy your shield like in an instant, so don't really count on anything with that. Okay. As you can see here, the, the thing he really hates Lone Star. Alright, we're gonna go with boots now. This is this is speed with boots, and I'm also going to get the like speed up because it's pretty freaking funny. Um, but I don't really find it really necessary because even with the without the boots you can still move pretty decently. And there we go. Uh, the mini knockback is really good to just knock Ayla back a bit. And you if you're really having problem with her, you can uh, Ah, damn it. 
You can get the extra. Oh god, I got killed. You can get the uh, extra knockback, or you can just pop your shield and we'll deal with her pretty nicely. But again, please uh, keep in mind that your shield uh, decays. You can have it up for six seconds, base, uh, base wise, with no upgrades, and it will go down if sh if it gets uh, hit. So, and the, on the plus side, you will not take damage, and nor will your allies do. They will. Uh, be adding some pretty nice effects uh, when the shield absorbs damage because right now you can. It, it doesn't really have that. I mean, I can go with the shield up and show you, and there's no, there's no effects, and I'm pretty sure the laser should be deflected or something. As you can see, there's no, there's no like damage, no animation that any, if any projectile is hitting the shield. Here we go, and yeah, here we go. I'm out. Oh god. Ayla's getting big. Oh, our oh, Ayla is getting big. Alright, that's good. So, you're a really good, good engager. Kind of, your your skills are a bit the, like the reverse uh, school there. So, I'm trying to concentrate right now. I. I'm, I'm doing this late at night after work and uh, it's kind of hard to concentrate, so sorry. Basically with Skaldir, you go into the team and throw them into your team or into a turret or anything like that. With this guy, you just pounce in like a freaking boss, murder their faces in and also shield anybody that is in trouble in there, which is kind of cool. Also heal for that shield, which is even better. Lunge. I kind of missed it. Okay. The shield can really save your butt. It's basically having 600 health on top of your health. For every 12 seconds. Which is really cool. That can also heal you. For a certain amount, which gives you even more health. The lunge is not hard to hit. But uh, sometimes you can really miss it and you, can, you feel like an idiot. But even though if you miss it, if you don't really get the splash damage off, you can still just be there for your team and shield them and uh, save them, which is kind of cool. He's pretty damn cool. And now we're gonna go back and see how the movement speed looks like. So these are my allies right here. There you go. So you can slingshot using your... Uh, your allies and just jump in the middle of them. And I think this is momentum based, so you can just jump a bit uh, further if you if you're moving faster. I think so. Let me just let me just try this. Right, so if I move like this, all right, that's that's one. No, no, no. Sorry, Eli, just let you die in the name of science. I'm sorry. All right. So see. No, I don't think- no, it's not momentum based, it's just set based. I might be wrong, but I just can't tell right now, it doesn't seem to be momentum based, I mean... If this is the range, this is how much you're going to jump. See? Exactly there. It doesn't matter if I'm pressing into that in that direction or if I'm pressing the other way. I'm gonna try to see what happens if I jump and just press the other direction. No, I, I don't jump less and I don't turn back. And this, this shield is a real game changer. I'm not sure how strong it will be against other tanks or supports, but it's pretty good. It's really good. So it's a support tank is really, it's really nice. And he also has quite decent damage and pretty insane engage. You can also stun people if you know what you're doing, but it's pretty hard in my ex experience. For me, it's pretty hard. Oh god. Go up, go up. Ayla bot is not really that smart. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's what I call a super set. Please uh, also take this with the green assault. These are bots. They're not that good. They had a head start and now they don't. So in uh, real life games, you can get stomped by an Ayla. I, I'm pretty sure Ayla can murder you pretty badly, but you can also negate her damage for your team for quite a bit, and those that quite a bit. Can't really save save their butts because you can take 
uh, isolate, you know, nullify the damage for a few seconds, which might be enough. Alright, let's see. I'm going to try to take the, like, heal thing and see how it works. Not really going for a... For an attack, uh, kind of a tank. I'm going for a regen debuff buff tank. It's basically helping your team by making everybody else strong and uh, everybody else worse and your team stronger. This it, it's it's the type of tank that it, it's like the classic tank that makes uh, shifts the battle using debuffs, and I like that. I like that I can do that. You can also just be like a beast and just murder people. I like the flexibility. I haven't really found like the like definitive build for this guy because there's quite a few situational builds and that's really good because that inspires diversity. Alright, you just hit me, hit me, hit me, nope. So yeah, you can really just not care about Yuri. But he does, if he does use uh, like a mine, which this guy apparently doesn't really want to do... Uh, oh, well, he did now. You, you can do that. The lunge doesn't really do that much damage. Early on in the game, it, he, it seems a bit better, but later in the game it doesn't really matter anymore. The same goes for your melee. Alright, let's go. But it's really cool that you can block basically any damage you want, and in the meantime, also heal yourself. That's actually pretty good. You can go for a regen tank, because you block all the damage, and you heal in the meantime. And you can go... I think you can just replace the whole... Uh, if your shield breaks thing, uh, you get healed altogether. But if you get bursted down, I think you're going to need both of those, because if you're against the burst comp, your shield will break and heal you, and that might actually save you from the, like, burst itself. Because if you're getting bursted down, you're basically not going to be able to fight for a very long period of time because you're going to die. So there's not gonna be any regen for you, even with the shield. Because again, this shield is 600 damage, I think it, it also scales 600 health. And there's quite a few things in the game that deal more than that, so you can still get busted down. It you will need they will need quite a lot of damage to also kill you, but you they will just destroy your shield. Okay, here we go. Nice, nice. In all, I really, really love this awesome lot. I'm pretty sure this is like the series of videos that I can actually just like, talk for quite a lot and also be. A pretty decently informative. I hope so. And um, just because I really like awesome knots and I really like uh, mechanics and I really like uh, like all the features and also the, the recall animation is pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so yes, you can go for more damage and use these two. I tried it and it doesn't really insta kill the enemy team, but you deal quite a lot of damage. Are we going to go for... Yeah, speed. Let me just show you the speed. Again, this is not the best build in the world. I'm just showing you like how crazy some of these things can get. Alright, so... This only affects your allied also not. You can basically give them speed and attack damage. And for debuffs you can uh, give the enemies slow and attack debuff. The knockback doesn't seem to knock down Yuri, which, yeah, it's I, it's normal because it's not also a stun. If it were a stun, it would sh it should have just grounded him for a few seconds, but it's not a stun, so it's it's normal to do that. As a more personal note, it's really nice to be doing videos again, but again, life tends to get into in the way and. Uh, I tend to get tired, and the videos don't look uh, don't look that well. As I could, as you could see here, I'm kind of struggling to be as 
literate as possible. If you can say that, I don't really have the war right now. And uh, we won. So really starting to just keep my focus on. I actually slipped a bit before this. So yeah, it, it, it gets a bit harder and I don't want to make poor quality videos. I know I don't really have the pleasure of uh, bringing you awesome knots the f as a uh, new awesome knots mu see see i'm getting tired and I'm, I'm starting to like my, my mind is starting to drift away to like weird places and uh, places that you won't, don't want to be in and uh, yeah if uh, if i don't have the time to do videos i don't want to like make bad quality videos or um, and I'm really kind of feeling bad that I can't put videos as early on YouTube as before because sometimes this was like the first video of this also not on YouTube and that was a very nice little like little win in my tiny little also not player heart to just have the first thing on YouTube describing an also not even though sometimes I didn't quite get the point of that also not where people really thought it was more overpowered than it actually was but upon release everything was kind of clarified that it wasn't really the case or if it did if it was uh, more powerful than i uh, did in the video Ronimo kind of tweaks it down usually if not Everybody's going to know it because everybody's going to play it and everybody's going to get hammered by it. This guy seems strong, but he doesn't seem to be broken. Just saying. This is actually the tank I really like. The, the, the tank that just jumps in like a maniac, murders people in the face, and protects their teams. Like, I am here to defend you. Move away from my team. Or I should say, move away from my team. I'm going to end this video before I start doing really weird stuff. Because these puns are absolutely horrible. Anywho, if you like this video, be sure to click the like button, share it with your friends, share it on whatever thing you want, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, whatever. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next video.